The Knicks finally lost the game, but my name is still Noah Kravitz. What's going on, everybody? This is the Nokia Lumia 920 for AT&T. In fact, in the U.S., it's an AT&T exclusive. It's the flagship, the latest flagship phone from Nokia as they continue to uh, hang their hat on Microsoft's Windows Phone platform and try to make a comeback from the depths of... Uh, I was going to say finish despair, but th there's no reason to say finish. Nokia's been having a hard time, let's put it that way. The Lumia 920, it's a beast of a phone. It's the follow-up to the Lumia 900, which I really liked uh, until I discovered after using it for a while that Windows Phone 7 just couldn't uh, do enough for me. But the 920 runs Windows Phone 8, which uh, plugs or promises to plug a lot of the holes that uh, smartphone users need, it, need to have filled in Windows Phone 7. Does that make any sense? Windows Phone 8 does a lot more than Windows Phone 7. Uh, it's the 920. It's a giant beast of a phone, 4.5 inch display with pure motion HD plus technology. Um, for purposes of comparison, here is the Samsung Galaxy S3. And uh, the Galaxy S3 actually a little tiny bit longer than the 920 because it had a 4.8 inch display. 4.7? 4.8? Um, about the same, it's roughly the same size, but uh, the 920 thicker and certainly heavier than the Galaxy S3. Peel off the protective cover here. Oh, I have no SIM. That's okay. I have a text message though. How do I have a text message without a SIM? Uh, the phone available now, 99.9. If you can peel the order in which this video was actually shot, you win a prize. Uh, but in the box, you get the phone, of course. You get the quick start guide you get these protective films that are stuck to the quick start guide. Texting and driving, it can wait. I Seriously, if I ever see you texting and driving, I will pull over and destroy, well, nothing, because I'm not a violent person. Just please don't do it, okay? You get your SIM door key, is what they call it. That's funny. It's like a giant paper clip with Nokia written on it. Nokia. Uh, you get an NFC tag to help you discover more Windows Phone apps because the phone is NFC comp compliant. Um, you get a piece of paper that tells you to go to no Nokia Smart Setup to help get your phone set up. You get product and safety information. You get a USB to micro USB cable and you get a modular charging adapter. Now this phone uh, also can work with the wireless charging if you get a wireless charging plate but I don't have one. $99.99 on two-year contract from AT&T. They're really trying to push this thing with the low price alternative. You know, to me, Windows Phone 8 kind of shaping up sort of in between iOS and Android. iOS um, hasn't really evolved a lot in the past few years compared to the other platforms. Uh, still dead simple to use, very attractive, but you know, in terms of customizations, notifications, that kind of stuff, not a ton you can do there. Android has evolved a lot, but it's still, you know, more like a computer than a phone, so to speak. Windows Phone 8, to me, trying to sort of slice the difference. A lot of functionality, but trying to keep the uh, bright, bold user interface. And obviously, you know, it's a unified thing as opposed to Android, which there are a million different versions. Anyway, the 920, 9999 on contract. Uh, you got an 8.7 megapixel camera on the back with the PureView technology and flash. It'll do the uh, 1080p video capture. Uh, you also have Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor uh, in the phone powering things. Uh, front camera to 720p for self-portraits, video chat, that kind of stuff. Uh, the phone weighs in at 185 grams. Again, it's a little bit heavy. It feels pretty good in the hand, but a little bit heavy. Kind of sharp edges on the corners here. 10.7 uh, millimeters thick, which, you know, a few years ago would have been svelte. But these days, uh, you know, 8, eight, eight millimeter, 9 millimeter phones. So, uh, you know, 10.7 feels a little bit heftier. The phone is available in five colors, red, white, black, yellow, and cyan blue. Here's the cyan. Whoever lent this to me knows I like the cyan. Uh, you've got 4G LTE technology. You've got um, you've got Wi-Fi, of course. You've got all the live tiles you can program to update you on everything on the home screen. It's a big jump from set Windows 7, 7.5 to 8. Uh, Skype integration, other stuff going on, but more 
and more capable tiles on the front screen. Uh, is it going to be information overload or will it still retain the um, Mondrian-esque, if you're a fan of modern art, <laughs> the uh, Mondrian-esque um, appeal of Windows Phone? Seven, uh, it's a 1280 by 7. All right, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but I am going to tell you that some time elapsed from the part of the unboxing you were just watching. We'll call it unboxing us interrupt us. Some food might have been eaten. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, where were we? The 4.5 inch display. Once a professional, always a professional. The 4.5 inch display is, of course, uh, a capacitive touch, uh, multi-touch support. It's 1280 by 768, so it's a 15.9 aspect ratio, not quite 16.9, but it's a 15.9. Uh, it's Gorilla Glass, it has all the sensors, orientation, proximity, all that good stuff. And uh, it's got all, it's an IPS panel, and it's, you know, got all these, I'm looking at the spec sheet, it's RGB stripe and high brightness mode and blah, blah, blah. It looks really good. <laughs> I happened to actually be in uh, an AT&T store um, last weekend. I went to see Skyfall, uh, the new James Bond flick. Good movie. I've heard people say it's not really a Bond movie. Um, I'll take their word for it. I'm not a, I'm a Bond fan, just not as much of an aficionado as some people. But uh, I will say that I enjoyed the movie. Anyway, I got to see the 920 side by side with the 820 because there's an AT&T store near the movie theater. And uh, the 920 definitely looks nicer than the 820, that's for sure. It's a nice looking display, 4.5 inches. Um, solid, right? That's the solid test. You know, Nokia has always made good hardware, um, even when they were running software on it that nobody wanted to use. Um, some of you might be too young to know, but back in the day, before smartphones were de rigueur, uh, Nokia, known for their N-series hardware, made some really, really nice phones. They've been doing it for a long time. So there's a solid piece of hardware. The screen looks really good, uh, but it, you know, it is, it is kind of large. Uh, the... I'll tell you what, this video is just coming in fits and spurts. It's crazy. I'm just going to edit it together. You'll never know the difference. That clock never changed. Uh, on the right spine, you've got your rocker switch for volume and such. You've got your lock power button. And then you've got your hard camera button, which um, I'm a big fan of how the Windows Phone hardware specifications mandate a hardware button. I like a hard camera button, especially because uh, there's a bad joke in there, especially because you can half press to lock focus and then, uh, oh, no, I'm going to mess the focus up, and then take your photo. But I'm digging that. Anyway, hard camera button. On the top, you've got your uh, three and a half millimeter output jack for headphones and such, and then your SIM card tray. Nothing happening on the left spine. Got my left and right confused. Uh, if you ever forget, kids, with your the back of your hand to you, left forms an L. There's a little bonus tip. On the bottom, you've got your micro USB port, your uh, speaker grills, and then uh, on the back, of course, your eight megapixel Carl Zeiss camera sensor and the LED flash. So there you go. I am very much looking forward to uh, diving into Windows Phone 8 here. Uh, like I said at the top, I was a big fan of the Lumia 900, the predecessor to this, uh, when it came out at CES almost a full year ago. Uh, but ultimately, Windows Phone 7 just didn't have uh, enough of the features that I rely on on a daily basis. But now they've upped the ante. You've got better specs, better screens, more features, uh, more apps. Probably not all the apps I'm used to. Probably even fewer than you're used to because you probably use more apps than I do. But uh, still... Some new features like Nokia City Lens. Very interested to check this out. And of course, all the Xbox and uh, Windows 8 integration as well. So, I will test this phone out. And one way or another, I will report back to you. Uh, if you saw my other videos I did in the past week, you know that I'm working on a new project. That's why I have these phones. It's kind of a holiday shopping guide, buying guide thing. Not just for phones, but for some other stuff, too. Uh, it'll be up and live very soon. I'll tell you all about it. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter, at Noah Kravitz. And uh, you might also want to follow at Future Smarter. F-U-T-U-R. Oh, yeah, I'll put it on the screen. At Future Smarter. Uh, I'm not going to say why. You just might want to follow that as well. Till night we meet again. My name is Noah. Thanks for watching. It's the Nokia Lumia 920, available right now on AT&T, $99.99 .99 on contract, if you are so inclined to buy one. Bye-bye.